So you can determine what your salary is. You can go out there in the market, find a need, solve that need, and determine your own destiny. Business of Architecture, episode 415. Hello, and welcome back, Architect Nation. I'm your host, Enix Sears. And in today's episode, we're pulling out one of the goodies from the archive, one of the most popular episodes that we've aired here on the Business of Architecture podcast. And the topic of today's podcast is how to earn six figures as an architect. Now, earning six figures isn't what it used to be when this podcast was originally released. However, these seven tips on how to increase your income as an architect still fully apply. Have a listen to today's episode and as always, let me know what you think. You can head over to Facebook and join the Business of Architecture forum to engage in the conversation. And with that, here's today's show. This podcast is produced by Business of Architecture, a leading business consultancy for architects and design professionals. This episode is sponsored by Smart Practice, Business of Architecture's flagship program to help you structure your firm for freedom, fulfillment, and financial profit. If you want access for our free training on how to do this, please visit smartpracticemethod.com. Or if you want to speak directly to one of our advisors about how he might be able to help you, Please follow the link in the information. Recently, the American Institute of Architects ran a survey of compensation of firm owners, and they found that the average salary of firm owners in the United States was somewhere around $70,000. Now, here in the U.S., $70,000 is barely enough to survive if you live in a large city, especially if you're a sole provider for your family. There's so many expenses that we have now with the modern family, including piano lessons, saving for college, not even to mention something disastrous that might happen like an unforeseen health event. So uh, it used to be that six figures was seen as a status of wealth in the United States. Quickly, that's diminishing. You may even need multiple six figures. But today we're going to talk about how to uh, become one of the 10% of architects that earns more than $70,000. Um, The other reason is that, you know what, frankly, you'll work just as hard to make six figures as you will to make $50,000. So if you think about Warren Buffett, the other uh, tycoons and um, billionaires in the world, they don't have any more time in their day than we do. They just spend it a little differently. So it's not necessarily going to have to make you work harder to earn six figures than if you were earning something like $50,000 a year, which is very difficult to survive on here in the United States. The other thing is things are getting more expensive. That's the other reason why having a a good, decent income as an architect is important. Uh, Healthcare costs continue to escalate. Um, Shoot, I just got my car repaired the other day. It cost a thousand bucks just to have the radiator fixed. I mean, little things like that can really take a big hit on the wallet. And at the end of the day, there is freedom in money. So money is a tool just like anything else. It's something that we can use to increase our lifestyle, to give us more freedom, to help fuel your dreams, to help fund the dreams that you have for your life. Money is going to be a necessary thing to do that. So without further ado, let's jump into my seven tips here on how to earn six figures as an architect. And we'll start with number seven. Uh, But first, I need to dispel a myth. And the myth is that the key to becoming financially successful in any field is to become the best at what you do. Unfortunately, I know and I've talked to a lot of architects who are fantastic architects uh, that would put me to shame as an architect, and yet they are not earning anywhere near what they want. Uh, They're struggling financially, so get that out of your system. It has nothing to do with becoming the best at what you do. Think about McDonald's, for instance. McDonald's, they definitely aren't known for their fantastic food, but what they do have is a fantastic business operation. So, Number seven is become one of the best at what you do and find someone to pay top dollar for it. So that is the thing we need to add on to the end of that statement, which is there needs to be someone who's willing to give you money for being the best at what you do. Here's an example. Think about uh, the, the position of design at a firm, right? Whether you're the lead designer or the head of the design studio, this is a coveted position that a lot of architects want. Because it's fun, you get to do drawing, you get design. That's the reason why a lot of us got into architecture to start off with. Unfortunately, because everyone wants to do that, it makes more competition for that position. And so only the very best of the best are going to command the top 
salary. So it's not just necessarily becoming the best designer because I know tons of fantastic designers that are scraping by as opposed to the select few that actually make a decent income. So become one of the best at what you do and couple that with someone willing to pay top dollar for it. So that is a lifelong journey that you'll be in. Let's move on to number six. Move into firm leadership at a firm with more than a million dollars in revenue. So why a million dollars? Well, studies have shown that firms that are earning at least over a million dollars, their senior leadership on average, or when we talk about the average salary of those firm leaders are earning six figures or more. So this may be a large firm, but not necessarily. There's some smaller boutique firms that do great work for great clients. Uh, at those firms, you'll find that if you spend the time to become a firm leader, then you can really triple, quadruple, you can bring home a fantastic income. Now, here's the key with this. It's going to take a long time to do that. Uh, no one's going to bring you in off the street, most likely, and make you a firm leader. It takes years of dedicated service. It, it takes some uh, honing of your abilities to be able to be an excellent architect, but not only that, be able to develop business, and we're going to talk about that in a second. So number six is to move into leadership at a firm with more than a million dollars a year in revenue. Become a firm leader, and we're talking about uh, you know, basically the director of operations, the president of the firm, the managing principal, or a partner. Number five, the fifth tip for how to earn six figures as an architect is to specialize in a lucrative, non-competitive field. Now, there's dozens, maybe hundreds of these fields and facets of architecture where there's simply not a lot of competition. One of the firms that I'm working with right now does utility projects for large multinational corporations in urban centers. And these buildings are really interesting because hidden behind this, what looks like a typical office building are complex substations, computer servers, all sorts of utility infrastructure. And these are projects that this architect has paid very well to do because frankly, there aren't a lot of architects that want to do that kind of work. Another architect that I know of earns a fantastic living and is able to travel all over the United States doing industrial uh, facility projects. So it may not be the sexiest, most exciting thing for a lot of architects, but it does provide a steady income that provides for his family and he's able to make a whole lot of money doing that. So number five is to specialize in a lucrative, non-competitive field. Number four, go to work for high value clients that give you repeat work. Now this is gonna apply for you if you are one of the firm leaders. If you run the firm, if you're working for yourself, go out there and look for an entity, a client, uh, that is able to pay fantastic fees, like uh, a lot of government work pays really well. There's a lot of bureaucracy. There's a lot of red tape that goes along with it. But if you can handle that, you can make a very nice living doing that. If you're able to find a client that trusts you and trusts the work that you do, having that ability to have work come in without doing all the marketing, sales, and business development because you have a repeat client is very, very valuable in a business sense. So if you can find a, uh, a client who gives you repeat work that is one way to easily get yourself a consistent six figures as an architect. One of my mentors does work for the local county. He does, uh, you know, if there's uh, some projects aren't that exciting, there may be ADA upgrades, there, but there may be more exciting projects like a new library project. But he's able to get those projects because he has a good relationship with the director of, um, of development at the county, director of facilities. And so that's what I mean by finding a client that gives you repeat work as opposed to residential work, which a lot of time is one-off. Uh, that is a difficult way to make a business if you're always trying to chase a new client. All right, so that's number four. Number three, third, you know, third on our, uh, almost to the top of the list here, how to earn six figures as an architect is go into business for yourself. <laughs> Now, those of you who are in business already for yourself may be laughing at this one because we know I just, according to the statistic I shared earlier, that most, the vast majority of architects, both in the United States and around the world, aren't earning six figures when they work for themselves. As a matter of fact, a lot of times finances are tight, cash flow is low, and they find themselves struggling, feels like it's from paycheck to paycheck, wondering when they're going to finally break free of that feast or famine cycle. So the key here is that what going into business does for you is it removes the upper limit on what you can earn. So if you apply some of the other tips that we're talking about 
in this segment, then you can find that you can make a six-figure income because you're your own boss. You can determine what your salary is. You can go out there in the market, find a need, solve that need, and determine your own destiny. Number two, my number two tip for how to earn six figures as an architect is to become a consultant. So architecture itself is a broad field. There's very many, many things, things more ways to earn money or to serve people or to help people in the field of architecture that I could ever list. A few that I came up with as examples of how to move from traditional delivery of architectural services into an affiliated consultant would be something like an owner's rep. So for instance, the local hospital district, they may be doing a new hospital. You can move out of the traditional sense of delivering the drawings and you can become the owner's representative, the person that uh, vouches for the owner, that uh, coordinates with the, the architect, uh, the contractor, the structural engineering team, that can be very lucrative and very rewarding at the same time. Uh, another way that you could uh, use your skills in architecture to earn a fantastic six-figure income is being a construction manager. Moving into totally out of architecture into something like real estate, uh, being a real estate agent, which I'm going to have someone on the show recently that has made that transition. Uh, another way that you could become a consultant is to work with developers, whether it's doing feasibility studies, doing charrettes, community outreach. There's lots of ways that you could develop your own brand, your own skills in architecture to become a consultant. So you have something that's, that gives you a little bit of specialization and you're not delivering the normal architectural services. Uh, a lot of times there's going to be less competition in those fields as opposed to doing just the architectural services. So that's tip number two is becoming a valuable consultant. Now, my number one tip and the most important thing I, I think you can do to earn six figures, a, a fantastic income as an architect, to be able to provide for your family, to be able to support your dreams, to be able to travel the world, to be able to fuel the impact that you want to have on the world is acquiring the skill of learning how to make it rain, how to bring in new work. This is a skill like any other that you can learn. You don't need to be a backslapper. You don't need to be the one who glad, ha glad hands everyone at the party. Uh, I've met many architects who really, frankly, aren't that outgoing, um, a little bit on the introverted side, as most of us are, but they've mastered the skill of being able to form relationships and turn those relationships into money. So that is the single most important um, point, uh, the most important tip I can give you for earning six figures as an architect. I remember early in my career when I was working for a firm in Houston, uh, there was another uh, architect at a, at a competing firm that I knew about who had brought in a very large school district prod project to his firm because of uh, the relationship that he had with them. So he went from being a project, kind of job captain, project manager, to an associate. His income was instantly increased, and he kept on bringing in work because he discovered that when you're able to make it rain, you can basically write yourself a check for your own salary. Now, I've prepared a special presentation. If you'd like to learn the skill of learning how to make it rain, I invite you to uh, go visit the following URL. It's architectwebinar.com. I've prepared, it's a little bit over, it's about a 75 minute uh, online presentation where you can learn the skill. I share with you everything that I've discovered about being able to develop business for an architecture firm, how to make it rain, how to bring in a consistent steady flow of high quality work, and you can sign up for that over at architectwebinar.com. So that is the end of our segment today, how to earn six figures as an architect. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you thought about this episode. And as always, if you like this, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click subscribe uh, so you can get updated videos. Subscribe to the podcast. Join the Business of Architecture Facebook group. And as always, Harpe. Yeah. And that's a wrap. And don't forget, if you want to access your free training to learn how to structure your firm or practice for freedom, fulfillment and profit, please visit smartpracticemethod.com. Or if you'd like to speak to one of our advisors directly, follow the link in the information. If you enjoyed today's show, please head on over to iTunes and leave us a review. I read every single one. Also, I'd love to get your feedback on this particular episode or the show in general, as well as your recommendations. You can reach us by emailing podcast at businessofarchitecture.com. This podcast is brought to you by 
Business of Architecture, a leading architect business consultancy. Access our free training on how to structure your architecture firm for more freedom, fulfillment, and financial success by going to smartpracticemethod.com. The views expressed on this show by my guests do not represent those of the host, and I make no representation, promise, guarantee, warranty, pledge, contract, bond, or commitment, except to help you conquer the world. Carpe diem.